All right, so you've got a sheet with a ton of information. And what you're trying to do is only pull specific data set between two certain dates. Um, so what we're going to do is create another sheet. Um, the very first thing we'll do on this sheet is create a to and from. This is where we will put our dates. So, for example, May 19th, 22 to June 1st, 22, just to give us a starting point. Um, very next thing we're going to do is set up a filter function. So equals filter. We're going to reference the sheet that we want it to pull from. So as you can see on the bottom left, mine is called all scores. Close that quotation, exclamation. Um, the very next thing you want to do is pull your entire data set. So mine ends at DJ and it starts at A. So we're going to do A to DJ. Get rid of that. A to DJ. Um, we're going to add a comma. Open parenthesis. Reference that first sheet again. All scores. Exclamation. Um, the next thing we want to do is reference where our dates are. So what column the dates are in. So mine are in DJ. This is where the timestamp is on mine. So we're going to pop back over here. We're going to reference DJ to the end of DJ. That's going to pull the entire column, all dates that are in there. And then we want that to be greater than or equal to cell A2. This is where our first starting date is. So A2. We're going to close. We're going to put um, asterisk. Open another parenthesis. Reference our first sheet again. All scores. Um, referencing the same date columns because we're still reading from those same exact dates. So DJ to DJ. It's pulling the entire column of dates. And then less than or equals to our second cell, B2, which will be our ending date, B2. Um, close parenthesis, close parenthesis. Um, next, you should see, sometimes you'll see that ref error. Um, you would just click on it and hit allow access if it doesn't automatically allow. If you want your titles at the top, just copy and pull those titles right over. I'm just going to insert a row above. And now my titles match. Um, but as you can see, so we pulled from May 19th to June 1st. We've got May 19th. Um, if we change that and we only want to see May 31st, for example, let's change this. And now we are only seeing this date range. Um, so this is a super, super simple way. You can prettify this once you're done if you like. Um, super simple way to just simply pull over specific date ranges um, from a certain sheet. So next, next video will be how to create averages um, using this data set without using a pivot table.